What's going on guys, today we're taking a look at some retina themes for the iPhone 5. Alright, so the first theme we've got for today is called Boof iPhone 5 HD and this one is free from the Mod My Eye Repo. Now this theme is in beta so it's not yet in the Mod My Eye Repo but it will be available within the next few days. But I have a link in the description below where you can download this theme if you want to try it out right away. So as you can see it's got a cartoony look to it. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the notification center. You can see that the weather widget is totally themed. You've got some horizontal rules here that look a bit different. So let's take a look at some of the other applications like messages. So you can see that the background is totally different with some uh, cartoon dog icons on these flying SMS messages. But uh, yeah, so totally different look in the messages application. If you bounce into any of your other applications, you've got some different banners here for the settings and whatnot, the different um, toggles here, you've got those themed as well. So overall, in general, this theme is really nice and clean. Uh, it looks really great on the iPhone 5 display. Um, not all of the icons are themed as of yet, but of course, again, it is still in beta, so you will be seeing some new uh, updates to it. This theme also supports widgets, uh, so you'll be seeing that as well when the uh, full version is released. So that is Buff iPhone 5 HD, and again, it is free from the Mod My Eye repo. Alright, so next up is the theme called Android, and this one's free, again from the Mod My Eye repo, but it's not yet in the Cydia store, so I will leave a download link in the description below. Now this theme is pretty cool, of course it mimics the Android look, so uh, let's dive right into it. Here you can set the animated uh, weather widget here by just tapping on the eye and putting in your local weather.com code. And if you wanted to actually animate the weather, you can just tap on the plus here and tap on animate weather just like that and tap on the plus again so you can see that you've got some clouds scrolling from the right to the left so that's pretty cool if you tap on the plus again you can go into editing mode and with editing mode you can change uh, some of the icons so let's say I wanted to add an application right over here let's add the app store there and then just tap out of editing mode and it's saved um, also you can change the web widget so let's go ahead and add Twitter to this theme and then if you just scroll to the left there we go. So we've got the Twitter widget fully running so I can see all of uh, the people that I'm following, all of their latest tweets. If you tap on the bottom left icon over here, you've got all of your applications in alphabetical order. So you can just scroll through all of your applications just like that. Um, I think there's one more thing you can do here. You can change the wallpaper, uh, just any wallpaper that you like. So I'll go with this guy here. So just like that, it looks just like Android. This is a really nice theme and it looks really, really good on the iPhone 5. So definitely if you're um, an Android fan or even if you just want a nice fresh look, I would recommend this theme. It is free from the Mod My Eye repo. And again, I'll leave the download link in the description below. All right, so the last theme I've got for you guys today is called Ambriel. And this one comes from the Mod My Eye repo for $3 and it's definitely worth the $3. Uh, so here you can see that the applications are all pretty much themed. Actually, every single application I've got on my entire uh, all five home screens are themed. Um, if you go into the notification center, it looks really nice and customized. So uh, every little detail you can see is pretty much changed here from the re from the regular uh, notification center. So let's just scroll out of there. Let's bounce into the messages application. So here you can see that there's a customized theme and background on the uh, messages application as well. Uh, let's go into the settings. So as you saw there, there was a customized uh, loading screen for when you open applications for the first time as well. And inside the settings application, you can see all kinds of changes. You've got these theme toggles on the side, all of these icons here along the side, also customized. So that is really nice. This one's nice and complete. Uh, let's see, are we missing anything? Um, you've got some changes to the banner, of course, at the top here. So where it says Jailbreak City 1139, customize icons along there as well. So overall, this theme looks really nice. So let's just take a look into Safari. So Safari, you can see there that even the uh, the loading uh, color in the background of the address bar was different there. It was a nice teal blue. You've got a teal blue banner at the top here. And even at the bottom here, your back and forward, your share, and all that bookmark, all those icons customized as well. So this one's a full theme. Uh, so you're getting what you're paying for with the $3 that it costs. Again, this one's called Ambriel for $3 from the Mod My Eye repo. If you guys have any iPhone 5 themes that you really like, make sure to leave them in the comments below. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure if you're not subscribed yet to hit that subscribe button and we'll be bringing you more themes and tweaks and also make sure to check out jailbreakcity.com for more themes tweaks news and reviews this is justin from jailbreakcity.com and i'll see you guys next time